Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to the Ellison Education video series. We're going to celebrate Mardi Gras today and we're going to do that in the creation of a couple of different masks. The one that I want to start with is actually a die cut mask and if you look on the table you can see this is the finished mask and I've decorated it, you know, this is one that could be done for all, really any age student because the doodling that I did on this side you know, it's fun to do. I, I do this as an adult. And then I've just added the die cut butterflies. If you look at this section, there's a hole in the, on the ends of the mask where you can attach the ribbons. And if I turn it over, you'll see all that is is just tied into a knot, which keeps, prevents it from sliding out. And also while we're here on the back, you can see that it's going to be worn with just this elastic mask strap. When I turn this back over, see that I've just used red nail polish to cover the, the front of that so that even seeing the front of that, I think looks kind of cool. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna start by die cutting the mask itself. So I cut out white. I think it would be fun to also do black and use a white pen, but all you're gonna do is just start doodling. And with my students, when I had something that was open-ended, sometimes I found that it was fun for them if they gave them inspiration. So you can use scrapbook paper, you can use wallpaper, you can use wrapping paper, but there are good sources that give them suggestions. And then of course, if they wanna just go off on their own, all the better. Once they've doodled as much as they want, I kind of went to the midsection and then I colored back in. Then it's a question of just starting to add, in my case, I separated the black section from the white section by just gluing down some tiny butterflies. So I'm not gonna take the time to put a whole lot of them, but some of them I mentioned, if you look over, I've got this foam adhesive on the back, which means that it's raised up and it adds more dimensionality, which I think is really fun. And then if you want to raise up the butterfly wings, you can because the adhesive is just behind the body section. So if you go back and look at this, you can see that's all this is, just doodling and adding some tiny die cut butterflies. It's really simple, but so effective. Now, for some of the really younger kids, this mask is, is made, believe it or not, with an egg carton. So this is one that I've done and I've painted it up, I've added the eyelashes. Once again, I have the elastic mask strap that's holding it there, but it started as just an everyday egg carton. So if you're big into recycling, you just take the egg carton, you're going, I left some of this intact so you could see how it works. I just slice down one section and then I'll put this on top so it really is obvious. You can see here, if I just traced with a pencil, although it doesn't need to be that exact, but that's how I got the shape for the one that I did here. And then all I did was just take different colors of paint, just can be poster paint, tempera, whatever paint you have handy that will work with um, the egg carton surface, which is pretty much anything. And then I just curled around a pencil, I curled the eyelashes, really fun and really great. It's a great way to study Mardi Gras. You know, whether you choose the egg carton or the die cut mask, your students are sure to enjoy making them and especially wearing them.